Hi, I'm Dom Granger. I'm a Salomon Outdoor Sports Ambassador, and I'm here to talk to you today about the features of the new MTN Backpack Range. As you will see, these backpacks are very versatile and are full of super practical features. The first one I would like to point out is the fabric. So we did use a PFC free fabric that is also very resistant. The MTN backpacks come in three different volumes. The biggest one that we have right here is a 45 liter bag and it is perfect if you want to be self-sufficient on a multi-day outing. Then we have a 30 liter bag that is great if you go out for a night in a refuge or on multiple days if you travel light. And if you just want to go out for the day and bring everything you need, you have the 15 liter bag. Oh, and all three volumes are also really light. We kept the heaviest one under one kilogram. And now, onto the pockets. Let's start with the most important compartment on a ski bag, and that is your avalanche gear compartment. The kind of compartment you never wanna have to open, but if you do, you want to be able to do it fast. This is why we made it a zipperless opening. So you have one clip on top, then you just pull on this tab and it opens it right up. You will see that there are some dividers from, for your probe and your shovel, so everything is easy to access and easy to store. To access the main compartment of the bag, there is a zip that goes all around the back panel. That gives you access to everything in your bag. For example, if you forgot to take out your skins and they're at the bottom of your bag, really easy to access. On the bigger volume, so on the 30 liter and the 45 liter bags, we have a top zip access to the main compartment as well as the back panel. Plus, on these two volumes, we also have a small zip pocket on the inside with our good old key clip. And then on all three bags, you have our classic water bladder pocket. You can bring the tube through an opening here and it goes right on your shoulders, making it super easy to drink. Now let's go take a look at all the pockets on the outside of our bag. The first one we have here is on the very top of the bag and is made for your ski goggles. On the shoulder straps, you have a couple pockets. There's one that is zipped on the right in which you can put your phone, for example. And on the left, you have the soft flask pocket. Soft flask, Woo! So you just insert it in there and you can secure the top. <laughs> you can then secure the flask with the loop so that the flask doesn't slide down when you drink. Let's see what you can attach on the outside, but most importantly, how to attach it. And for that, what's better than our friend Doria from the bag and gear team? Let's go find him. All right, well, let's just start with the big pieces, the skis. So there's a couple ways to put them on the bag, right? Yes, as you can see, we received the bags with two different straps. So this one and this one. And you can attach the skis with three different ways. Okay, cool. So for this first one, you can keep your skis together. Yes, together. And then you, you will use the, um, the strap on the bottom. And you slide in the bottom part of your skis yep. up to the bindings. Yes, and after to secure the top of the ski, you can take this hook from the side and you bring it on the top of the bag. Uh, into the loop that's in the middle. Yes, and then you can uh, easily adjust the, the size and secure it uh, with this system. All right, so, and I would guess if you can put it on this side, you can also put yeah. it on the other side. Exactly. All right, so that's one option. What's next? So you will uh, use exactly the same system on the bottom. You have another option. And you will use this side of the pocket where you have Another ah. strap, and, and then, then you clip it. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Can I try it off? Yeah, of course. All right. Perfect. Holds really well. Yeah. 
All right, so now that's two out of three, I would guess the third one would be to put one ski on each side of the bag. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just before uh, to position the, the ski, you have to adapt our system. So you need to take this hook and position it at the bottom. At the lowest. Yeah, lowest one. Yeah. And exactly the same on the top. And then you, will, you, you, are, you can take the ski and position it really easily. So you put the bindings uh, on the strap and then you will do the same on the top and you can uh, secure your ski with this system super easily. All right, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. However, let's put ourselves in context. It's winter, there is snow, it's cold. That means you have gloves on your fingers. Yes, right? yeah, but uh, all the, uh, the adjustment system is uh, glove friendly. So okay. you can easily use gloves and use this system to put your skis on the backpack. I challenge you. Yeah. Whoa, efficient. All right, let's see, yep. let's see. So you can. So bottom part goes, slides in. Yeah, and then you will then use exactly the same system, the same hooks. You can secure your ski. There you go. Top. And also there. Can you try the back? I sure can. <laughs> right. So does it work the same with the split board? Yeah, exactly the same system. Oh wow, not bad. So yeah. same principle then on with the skis. Yeah. And how about with the snowboard? I can show you, so. So you fully remove the strap from the middle loops mm -hmm. and then you hook it back on the other side. Uh, yeah, and you use the daisy chain that we have there. I start with uh, the bottom. Ah, okay, I see. So we're gonna first put the bottom part of the snowboard. Yes, exactly. There we go, and then I come around. Yep. There we go, one, yep. two, three. Boom. If you're the kind of person who likes to go on a little more advanced ski session, you may want to bring an ice pick, for example. So how do you secure yep. this on the bag? So you can easily put your ice axe uh, thanks to this loop. You can secure it with this metallic bar, and then play with this elastic loop and secure it at the top like this there you go and if i understand well these metallic bars are also adjustable so you can pull them tighter yeah. from the inside of the bag exactly yeah and you can uh, potentially change uh, those different uh, elastic oh. system if you have uh, any issue perfect and about the helmet so normally i guess you should have it on your hand but if you don't there's a spot for it right yes so you can take your helmet, open the pocket on the top, put the helmet like this, close the pocket and use the system that you have there, the cord to come and clip it, to clip it and secure it. So as you can see, there's even a place to put a second ice pick if you want. And you could even put a rope on top of your bag where the helmet is. There's a bunch of options also to put carabiners on the daisy chains, on the belt, and even a loop at the bottom, if ever you would need it. As there are a lot of options on where to put your stuff and how to organize everything, we really suggest that you try it at home, figure out what the best configuration is for you. And mostly, once you have everything the way you like, try to get your avalanche gear out, just to make sure that it is easy for you and that it's still comfortable and that you're really efficient at it. So cool, thank you so much, Tarion, for coming. Thank you, Dom. Once you have found the right size backpack, you can adjust it even more to your morphology. So just like with any of our other backpacks, you have adjustable shoulder straps, sternum straps, and hip belts. For even more comfort, we added a padded back panel that puts a thicker layer between you and whatever you may have in your bag. And even though skiing is a daytime activity, we did add some reflective details to your bag, just in case you start really early or you finish a little bit later than planned. All right, well, now that you know everything there is to know about the MTN bag range, time to go play in the snow. Allez, come on, Dom. All right, coming. Okay.